Yo, what's cracking, guys? You read that title correctly. Is Usman's engagement affected by this prospective bride? That's not what I'm going to title it, but that's a crazy title. Is his engagement affected by his prospective bride? Yeah, he's going to have two if you didn't know. If you don't watch the show and just watch me talk shit about him, he's going to have two ugly hoes. He already has one. I don't watch these before I talk shit about him, obviously, so I, I don't even know who he's going to be talking to, to be honest. But someone's going to be mad. And that's what this show needs. Drama. It's built on drama. It's like a healthy way of talking shit about people. We need this. Maybe we'll see the new bride. I don't know. Let's hop into this shit. But before I do, this episode is sponsored by you guys. You guys over on Patreon.com slash WineboxPoppy. You guys truly help make this shit possible because YouTube fucking hates swears, dude. That's why, like, most YouTubers mute and bleep out swears, but it genuinely infuriates me when I hear a bleep noise, dude. I know what you're saying, and obviously swears are okay if there's views on the videos. I think one day it's gonna change because like one day something bad is gonna happen and people are gonna be like, oh, words aren't that bad. You know what's worse than every swear word in the world? Coronavirus. The flu. So if I've ever made you laugh and you want to help support this channel and fight back against YouTube's cute little swear policy, patreon.com slash wineboxpoppy. But let's see if I'm worth it. That's the new prospect? Yo, fucking leave Kim, dude. Who needs a green card? Kim is going to be so angry. Wow. Literally the exact opposite of Kim. Kim's the one he's dating, right? Kim Bali. Her name is Faridat Tight. I want to hear how you pronounce that. Yeah, he looks fucking thrilled right now. What is this, a fucking trade deal going on? Both moms? Why doesn't my mom do this? I want some free chosen pussy. Thought she looked a little young. I mean, at least she's 18. I have a feeling that, like, the mom was like, in a couple years, we have a wife for you. You don't want your daughter to date a drug addict? What's wrong with drugs? Yeah, he's super responsible with his rap name, Soldier Boy. Also, I was trying to hear her say her daughter's fucking name, but I didn't hear it. I heard her say Usman, barely. So you give head? I don't want to do that. I don't. He barely said it. He missed like six letters. Very dead. I'm going to stick to saying it like American. Free debt. Get your ass over here, free debt. This America, bitch, we're changing your name to Kayla. Wow, not even a how are you doing? This is a great conversation. Honestly, him and Kim are better. Like, he can't even deal with Kim. You think he's gonna be able to deal with an 18-year-old? I always said your life doesn't start until you turn 18. She knows nothing. I don't know if they got schools out there for women, but this bitch is probably still in it. Actually, in their culture, it seems like she's finally at the ripe age to be married. <laughs> Who are my competitors? She said there's no one, but I don't believe her, right? Every bitch got a backup. Actually, her mom probably does. But what if she gave you a list of guys? She's like, here's their Instagram handles. Yeah, go compare yourself. None of them rap, which is a good thing. Ah, yes, none of them are serious, huh? So there are some, okay. Caught you slipping real quick. I should be a fucking private detective. 
kuma da ina tallan ma ina zuwa kai zangan yi kai in ce kai zanta kuma naga kina da kyau Farida is she she's beautiful there it fucking is Farida I've never heard that name before fucking obviously probably won't ever hear it again unless I'm watching this bullshit kind of like that name though I'm not going to lie like it, it sounds smart mark that's one syllable right that's, that's what a syllable is I have no idea the only thing I need to know is her character her behavior if I didn't meet Kimberly Farida can be the kind of lady that I would like to go on with But I thought Kimberly says you could have a second bitch. I like I was like I need to figure out her character and who she is. Yeah, dude. That's called getting to know somebody. Don't just take her fucking mom's word for it. Of course she thinks she's great. She made her. No, oh yeah, the person with half my DNA fucking sucks. Ah, kan ya mihi? Kina kallan abuwa na ko kafin yanzu kin san ko ni waye? Did you know who I was before we met? Literally me on every date. <laughs> That was a lie. I don't go on dates. Didn't mention anything about the song. She didn't say she liked him and didn't say she didn't like him. But if you don't have something nice to say, don't say it at all. This channels the exact opposite. Okay. So in the end, Allah is going to be able to get you. Come on, I don't know what you're talking about. This escalated very quickly, but I don't think the parents would both be happy if you guys just did a light dating. Yeah, we're just in the talking stage right now. <laughs> They heard of 90 Day Fiance, they're like, "You guys wait that fucking long?" Mm, that's what you do. Oh, wow. Four. No more than four. Whoa. I'm an only child, so to me that is fucking a death sentence, dude. No way. I could see him being like, "Well, then I'm going to need three other wives." That's around my range. It's like they're bargaining right now. Yeah, I guess I could go for four. I want a six before it's close enough. Okay, real quick, I actually talk about this on stage sometimes. But have you guys heard of the thing where like rich people will drink the blood of abused kids to get the adrenochrome, and they drink it and it makes them younger? Let me know if you've heard that conspiracy theory before. If you haven't, uh, you're welcome. I, I mean, I don't believe in that conspiracy theory because like, if you're gonna have four kids, why not just take one of them and abuse them? You get to stay young forever and you have three other kids. Everybody would do this. One to raise, one to graze. Ama sai na na mace gaskiya buri na ne in ya aure in haifi yara. Ina son Usman ya zama meji na ko nan gaba. Ina farin ciki sosai. You're truly excited. Well, I haven't seen you make a single facial expression. I've literally never heard an African talk in a monotone voice before. Ah, hopefully I can marry Soldier Boy soon. You know what? I just had the thought of like maybe this is the best way. Like the parents are older, they know what's going on, they set you guys up together. Out here in America, people are just young as fuck marrying people, getting divorced. 50% of marriages end in divorce. I bet you it's way lower there, but I also bet you one of the parties dies if they get divorced. And you could also have multiple wives, which might sound harder, but it might be easier. But I could see Kimberly complaining about her age, which would be uh ironic, Tony. Ironic Tony. She's a little young. Well, you're a little the opposite. She's going to freak the fuck out, dude. Huh, what's Usman going to pick? This wrinkly old white bitch or this perfectly smooth-skinned black girl? Hmm. Do I want a 60-year-old or an 18-year-old? God. This is hard. I mean, the 18-year-old can't buy me a PS5. Maybe the mom can. I mean, we got a free cow out of Kim and I'm not talking about her. Okay guys, let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Uh if you want to see some more shit like this, I actually do stand up comedy and post every single set over on my second channel, youtube.com/markarski. This person actually is an enemy of the room. It has been an entire year of doing stand up. So you get to see the evolution of open mic 1 to open mic 120. That's how many I did in a year. It's been an awesome time and you get to see the evolution of really how cringy bad it was in the beginning to not as bad now. And season 2 is starting now and I just did my first book show actually just to suck my own dick a little bit. I'm going to frame this, but this was the uh the first time I've ever been paid for stand up comedy. I got booked this Saturday to do a gig and the guy handed me the money dude and I almost teared up cuz this is this is like a big deal when it comes to like doing stand up getting your first payment you know
100% gonna frame it. It's kind of like unreal to me, to be honest. And by the way, yes, it is only $20, but I did only do five minutes, so that's a pretty good exchange. It showed perfectly what it's like to be a stand-up comedian. Like, I got booked for the gig like three hours in advance, so I didn't have like too much time to prepare. I was a little bit nervous, was super excited about having my first gig, and then being overwhelmed with joy and almost tearing up because I got paid, and then bombing doing fucking terrible. So all the ups and down, all in like 30 minutes, just every single emotion you could fucking have. The journey is genuinely like nothing else. I don't think there's any other career that is close to stand-up comedy. And I have a series that follows me doing open mics to the fucking top. It's a series called The Comedian where I vlog in the car talking about the set I'm about to do. Then I show the entire set. Then I podcast breaking down how the set went. I don't think anybody's ever documented an entire stand-up career before. So if you're interested in seeing shit like that I think people might be interested like what goes on behind the scenes of stand-up comedy so if you want to see that shit youtube.com slash Markarski if not I totally understand like comment share subscribe let's keep that algorithm going baby I fucking love you guys Mwah.